massive forest lying less than 10 kilometers north of the Atlantic Ocean, enslaved by same depravities that have plagued humankind globally. Strange diseases, defiling medical interventions, occultism in high dimensions, dishonesty, wickedness, and more to mention. But a single look. A look to the author and finisher signals the authority. It's a power shift. Power from on high upon your life. You've never seen anything like this before. The day when everything that is dead, dormant, dull in your life will rise up. July 28th to August 2nd, 2022, 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT Sunday worship service packaged on a global scale for all. Men, women, ministers and professionals, children, youths and young adults. A total package by the Calvena, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi at the GCK July edition live at... Shall we pray? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We have come unto the Lord. We have come unto the Lord. We have come to our Father. We have come to renew strength. We have come. We have come to our Father. We have come to renew strength. We have come unto the Lord. We have come. We have come to our Father. We have come to renew strength. We have come. We have come to our Father. We have come to renew strength. Jesus, we are here. Jesus, we are here. Jesus, we are here. We are here for you, Jesus. Jesus, we are here. Jesus, we are here. We are here for you, Jesus. We are here. Jesus, we are here, Father. We are here, we are here for you. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful to know. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful to know. My Savior died for me. My sins were washed away, hallelujah. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful, wonderful to know. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful to know. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me wonderful to know my savior died for me all my sins were washed away hallelujah that jesus died for me wonderful wonderful to know I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth, he liveth forevermore, do you know? Yes, I know, I know, I know my Redeemer liveth, he liveth forevermore, do you know your Redeemer lives, do you know your Redeemer liveth, do you know your Redeemer liveth? He liveth forevermore. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. Do you know why he is Jesus? Do you know why he's so great? After three days, he rose from death. I've never seen a man who rose from death like Jesus Christ. Do you know? Do you know why he is Jesus? Do you know why he's so great? 
after three days he rose from death i've never seen a man who rose from death like jesus christ that is why he's lord he's lord amen he has risen from the dead he's lord every knee shall bow every tongue confess that jesus christ is the lord he is lord he is lord amen he has risen from the dead he is lord every knee shall bow every tongue confess that jesus christ is lord every knee must bow every tongue confess that jesus christ is the lord every knee must bow and every tongue confess that jesus christ is the lord hallelujah jesus is the lord hallelujah hallelujah jesus is the lord hallelujah jesus is the lord hallelujah hallelujah jesus is the lord jesus christ is the lord hallelujah jesus is the lord hallelujah in heaven on earth jesus is the lord hallelujah hallelujah jesus is the lord jesus christ is the my lord can do all things so oh, yes he can do all things amen my lord can do all things my lord can save you oh yes he can save you my lord can deliver oh yes he can deliver amen my lord can heal the sick my lord can raise the dead my lord can do all things so oh, yes he can do all things amen that wonderful name jesus that wonderful name jesus that wonderful name jesus there is no other name i know that wonderful name jesus oh yes that wonderful name jesus that wonderful name jesus there is no other name i know revive me revive me O oh lord revive me revive me oh my lord please revive me lord revive me O oh lord revive me revive me O oh lord revive me revive me oh my lord revival pentecostal revival revival pentecostal revival revival pentecostal revival we need your revival pentecostal revival 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 pentecostal revival revival pentecostal revival we need your revival pentecostal revival i can see the finger of god rewriting my story rewriting my story i can see the finger of god today today rewriting my story i can see the finger of god 
tonight, tonight, rewriting my story. Jesus the same, the truth and the life. Whosoever cometh to him shall never die. Jesus the way, the truth and the life. Whosoever cometh to him shall never die. Jesus the way is the truth and the life. Whosoever cometh to him shall never die. The life whosoever cometh to him shall never die. Jesus the same yesterday, today and forever. He is the same today and mighty to save today and forever he is the same today and mighty to save my seeds present yesterday today and forever he is the same today and mighty to save Yes, he is the same today and mighty to save. He is able, abundantly able to deliver and to save. He is able, abundantly able to deliver those who trust in him trust in the lord abundantly able to deliver and to save my god is able abundantly able to deliver those who trust in him the man of calvary He's done it before in your life, in my life. He will do it again. Jesus of Nazareth, he's done it before. He, man, he will do it again. Jesus of Galilee, he has done it before. In your life, in my life, he will do it again. Jesus of Calvary, he has done it before. He will do it again. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. And gave us victory, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh yes, and gave us victory, 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 hallelujah. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. By the Holy Ghost and power, just as the prophet said, this is the day of the latter days. God is moving in his power again. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. It's not by power. It's not by might. By my spirit, saith the Lord, it's not by power, it is not by might, saith the Lord. This mountain shall be removed, this mountain shall be removed in Jesus' name, this mountain shall be removed by my spirit saith the lord it's not by power it's not by might by my spirit saith the lord 
the Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is to follow. The Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is to follow. The Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is to follow. The Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is to follow. Strength for today, each time of the way, and all that I need for tomorrow. The Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is to follow, follow through the wilderness. All I have to do is to follow. The Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is to follow, follow, follow. I will follow Jesus anywhere, everywhere. I will follow him. Follow, follow. I will follow Jesus anywhere he leads me. I will follow him. Follow, follow. I will follow Jesus anywhere, yes, everywhere. I will follow him. Follow, follow. I will follow Jesus anywhere he leads me. I will follow him. Amen. I have found Jesus. Amen. He is able to do all things. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, amen. My God is able to do all things. Hallelujah. Amen. I have found Jesus. Amen. My God is able to do all things. Hallelujah. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. There is power sitting on the throne. Expect a miracle when you pray. When you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. There is power sitting on the throne. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the Son of God that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. My the Son of God, that he should repent. Behold, I've received commandment to bless, and he has blessed, and I cannot reverse it, for God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Behold, I've received commandment to bless and he has blessed 
And I cannot reverse it, for God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Be with me tonight, oh, never let me by. Be with me tonight and never pass me by. Let tonight be my night, O oh Lord. Let tonight be my night, O oh Lord. Oh, never let me by. Be with me tonight and never pass me by. Let tonight be my night, O oh Lord. Let tonight be my night, O oh Lord. Be with me tonight and never pass me by. Be with me tonight and never pass me by. Let tonight be my night, O oh Lord. Let tonight be my night, O oh Lord. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by, do not pass me by, Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by, do not pass me by, Savior, Savior. Hear my humble cry, while on others thou art calling. Do not pass me by. Night. I say, what a great night. Something good will happen to you. Divine increase. What are you? It's coming in your family. Coming in your life. The Lord is going to turn your life around. When you finish, when we finish here, go and write today's date down. Something unforgettable. Something unthinkable. Something incredible. All those things that are standing in your way, that cobweb, everything is cleared away today. Raise up those hands and be anointed. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for your people tonight. Everyone here, every brother, every sister, every man, every woman. Lord, I pray heavens will open upon everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Divine increase, Amen. heavenly increase, Amen. unforgettable increase. Amen. Lord, do it in every life in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You can see them. God bless you. I'm coming to Ezekiel chapter 34. Ezekiel chapter 34. I'm reading verses 26 and 27. Ezekiel 34. Reading from verse 26. And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing. He's talking about you here. And this is the Almighty God saying, I will make you and the places round about you a blessing. I will cause the shower to come down in his season. Look at this, look at this. There shall be showers of blessing. You didn't know it was there before. It was waiting for you that tonight there will be showers of blessing. In your family, there will be showers of blessing. Look at verse 27, verse 27. It says, and the tree of the field shall yield her fruit. And the earth shall yield her 
increase and they shall be saved in the land and shall know that I am the Lord tonight you will know that he is the Lord the Lord your Redeemer the Lord your Savior the Lord the fruit bearer in your life and it says when I have broken the bands of their yoke and delivered them out of the hand of those that serve them themselves of them tonight you've got it there's some verse waiting for you in chapter 36 look at chapter 36 and verse 11 and I will multiply upon you man and beast I lost an amen over them and they shall increase who is he talking about I said who is he talking about and they shall increase and bring fruit and I will say to you after your old estates and will do better unto you than at your beginnings and you and unto you he says he will do better and you shall know that I am the Lord tonight you will know tonight we'll come for a night of increase and my message to you tonight is the miracle of increase miracle of increase for you for your family in your profession in your personal life in your ministerial life now when we talk of divine increase it is not limited to having some material things yes material things yes work yes employment yes money but it's not limited to that and it is not restricted to any age group the young will increase the old will increase each one can have both revelation and realization of divine increase god's revelation presents us with a new life increase your personal life abundant life increase of strength increase in the fulfillment of the promise of god in your life increase in every positive and profitable achievement i see achievers before me here tonight conquerors before me here tonight and whatever has stood in your way and you have not got what you should have got that thing will be cleared away tonight in jesus name the lord has promised us divine increase increase of blessing increase of fruitfulness increase of wisdom increase of needful supply increase of victory there's going to be addition and multiplication of all good things in your life addition somebody help me shout addition shout multiplication it will happen and it will begin tonight in your life in jesus name very quickly three things i'm looking at number one the promise and the price of divine increase the promise and the price of divine increase number two the position of pillars in desirable increase there is desirable increase i want this i want this i want that i desire this i'm going to attract this to my life but you understand there are pillars on which those desirable increases will stand point number two the position of pillars in desirable increase point number three now our prayer and preparation for distributive increase distributive increase that is it's not a kind of increase you have and you box somewhere and you cage somewhere you distribute your life is going to be a blessing you're going to touch many lives before you pass through this life and many people are going to be blessed through you in jesus name 
our prayer and preparation for distributive increase number one the promise and the price of divine increase you know something surprises you when people come to church and they look at the promises of god the next thing is prayer and prayer is wonderful god answers prayer and god is going to answer your prayer and there are promises the lord has given us and people are saying pastor give me the promise and then pray for me that's all i want but you know there is a price to pay along with the promise let me explain it to you like this god gives a man who is a farmer he gives him a good land a fattened land and he gives him the crops and everything is ready for him to have an increase and to have a great harvest and then he says lord i thank you for your promise and then he sits in his house or kneels in his house or he comes to church and he says i love god and the promises of god are wonderful and he spends all the time in church praying 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 he never sows the seed will he have a harvest no the price he will pay is that he will take the seed yes he prays he thanks god he blesses the name of god but he goes to that land and he plants the seed harvest will come the promise and the price the provision is free yet we have to make necessary effort to possess and i see possessors before me the promises of wealth in every area of your life then we must work to reap the blessing of divine increase let me put it this way to achieve we must act if you are idle and you fold your hand and you do nothing you're not going to achieve god is on your side the promises of god are there and the blessings of god are there but to achieve we must act to succeed we must switch and study god has given us the brain he's given us the mind the books are there the schools are there and the opportunities are there i want to succeed god has promised to us thank god you are going to succeed but to succeed the price to pay we must switch and study it's like i want to be righteous and the promises of god are there and the word of god is very clear christ died for me on the cross of calvary but you know what to be righteous i must repent i turn from my sin i believe on the lord jesus christ righteousness will come to be saved i must surrender there is always something to do the promise is there and then the price to pay to reap we must sow to harvest we must plant to get or to gain we must give to triumph we must travel that that's the way life is and that's the way god has structured everything that divine increase is available for you and then if there's any sickness hindering you we're going to throw that thing away if there's any power obstructing your way we're going to cast that one out and then inner strength will come inner power will come and you will go out you will do something tangible something practical something profitable and you are going to succeed for full inexhaustible divine increase we need partnership with god because two cannot work together except they be agreed but well, thank god i see people here you're in agreement with god i say you're in agreement with god you cannot fail you will not fail heaven will back you up let me show you from the bible that there is the promise and then there is the price there is what is that the promise and then what is that and the price to pay we're coming to genesis chapter one genesis chapter one i'm reading from verse 26 genesis chapter one verse 26 and god said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air 
and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping seed that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them and blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful. Somebody there, you are fruitful already. Yeah. And multiply. Did I tell you multiplication has come? And replenish the earth and subdue it and have. What are you having today? I said, what are you going to have? Nothing will crush you. Nothing will oppress you. Nothing will stop you in this somewhat journey of divine increase in Jesus' name. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living sea that creepeth upon the earth. You can see very clearly there the intention of God, the promise of God, the provision of God, the power of God. But what a minute. The promise is there. Look at chapter 2, verse 15. Chapter 2, verse 15. And God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to do what? Tell me out aloud. To dress it and to keep it. That's the price. There is the revelation that God is going to bless and God is going to bless you. And then there is the responsibility. There is something to do. He gives the promise and then he tells us what the price is. And look at Psalm 104. Psalm 104. I first of all read verse 1. Psalm 104. Read verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And O Lord, my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. But now run down to verse 13. He watereth the hills from his chambers. That's talking about God. Because he wants to make the earth, the world, a good place for you to live. And he surrounds you with every blessing. And then it says, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. The earth is satisfied in the mind of God, in the intention of God, in the program of God. He wants everyone, literally everyone, to be satisfied. You are going to be satisfied. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and herb for the price of for the service of man that he may bring forth food out of the earth and wine that maketh glad the heart of man and oil to make his face to shine you see that your face will shine and bread which strengtheneth man's heart then he goes on to say the trees of the Lord are full of sap and the cedars of Lebanon, which he has planted. Now, verse 23. Verse 23. Are you there? Tell me if you are there. What do you see there? In you say one, two, three, go. You see that? You see that? That's the price. That's the price. As we read all the other verses, it's talking about the provision of God. It's talking about the promise of God. And, you know, believers can throw their hands in there and say, praise the Lord. God is good. God is wonderful. And God is going to bless me. There's going to be satisfaction. And he pours the rain down. He pours the blessings down. Everything is all right. And then we are told now, get out of your house and go to work there is a price to pay i pray god will open our eyes that will not just leave things to be going like that and then say god will do everything god will do everything he has given us something to do he will bless the work of your hand man goeth forth unto his work 
there must be something to do to cause this divine increase there must be something you apply your strength to you apply your life to to cause this divine increase man goes on to his work and to his labor until 11 a.m until 12 noon until i'm tired i'm going back home until when until the evening it stretches it out that's enough to do and you need to put on effort and you need to put on your strength and you need to have a drive and say i am going to succeed thank god i see successful people there look at job chapter 8 job chapter 8 i'm reading here from verse 5 the promise and the price the promise and the price look at this look at this in uh, job chapter 8 verse 5 if thou wouldest seek unto god betimes and make thy supplication to the almighty if thou wert pure must take every kind of sin away every kind of defilement away every evil we must take away so that the strength of the lord will be ours and the provision of the lord will be ours if thou wert pure and upright surely now he would awake for thee and make the habitation of thy righteousness prosperous look at verse 7 this one is for you Amen. say it is for me Amen. though thy beginning was small yet thy latter end should greatly increase Amen. make it personal now though my beginning was small yet my latter end should greatly increase you want to say that again personal don't despise the day of small beginnings you wake up in the morning and there's something to do don't say i'm not happy with what i'm doing i'm not satisfied with my assignment it is too small it is below my dignity it is below my certificate it is below my education it is below my training don't worry about that get it done and do it better than anybody around can do it and put your strength put your skill and put everything you've got into it and the lord is telling you if you do that small sin very well and you will do it well yeah. at home do it well in your place of work do it well any sin you're doing let there be some extra that you put into it. love excitement joy i'm happy doing what i'm doing yes i know it is small yes i know it is small but though thy beginning was small yet thy latter end thy latter end shall greatly increase matthew chapter 6 i'm reading from verse 33 matthew chapter 6 and verse 33 look at this it says in verse 33 seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness uh, i don't have this don't worry about that i need this don't worry about that i'm still uh, you know in debt don't worry about that you put god first you'll be surprised i said you'll be surprised even from tonight from tonight as you put god first as you are going provision will meet you on the way increase will meet you on the way it says it says here seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and how many things all these things shall be added unto you who said that jesus said that can he lie did he lie to you if you do what he said you are going to have the result of obedience in your life seek him first i'm happy you are here tonight are you happy i'm here too i'm happy you are there you know all that road and all the difficulties all the challenges and the bottleneck there the traffic jam there and you said i will be there i must be there god will honor you you're seeking for us the kingdom of god there are other things you could have said i'm going to do i'm going to do this i'm going to do this i'm going to do that but you said i'll put god first 
you will not be here tonight in vain. He will add unto your life. Addition in your life. Multiplication in your life. Who am I talking to over there? Be it unto you according to your faith in Jesus' name. Point number two now, the position of pillars in a desirable increase. You know, all those desirable desires, there are pillars, pillars. Look at this building, for example. There are pillars on which the building stands. If you're going to have a little shed, well, a little pillar will do. If you're going to have a magnificent building, very large and very heavy and stable and solid, you need some real stable pillars. Let me show you in Proverbs chapter 9, verse 1. Proverbs chapter 9, I'm reading from verse 1. Proverbs chapter 9, verse, tell me the verse. Verse 1, wisdom has builded a house she has hewn out her, tell me, seven pillars. That's it. The pillars are there. And as we talk about divine increase, and we're talking about definite increase, and we're talking about desirable increase, there are pillars, pillars. And what pillars are, is God looking for? Number one, number one, increased faith increased faith in uh, Luke chapter 17 Luke chapter 17 I'm reading from verse 5 17 verse 5 and the apostles said unto the Lord tell me increase our faith they knew they knew if there was going to be any increase in their lives at all increase our faith you know, when you have faith in God, maybe you trusted him a little before, but now you want to increase your life, expansion in your life, enlargement in your life, progress in your life, and you're asking for more, you're asking for more, you're asking for more. The pillar on which you can build that is increased faith. I used to trust God, but now I'll trust God more. A step at a time a little step a little more faith and you know that desirable increase will come in your life you know why because there's a principle a principle if you're going to do anything I'm going to enlarge it now number one you have faith in God number two you have faith look at this in yourself you know some young people went to school and it was, it was the first day in school and the teacher said introduce yourself and this one stood up and you know looked down and said I am so and so he was shy another one introduced herself I am so and so we live in a backward community I came to school today and then the last boy stood up he squared his shoulders I can almost see you, that's a person like you. I said it's like you. He looked up at the teacher, eyeball to eyeball. He said, I am Johnny. I'm going to succeed because God didn't make a dummy. I'm going to lead this class because God didn't put me at the tail. And guess what? He had faith in God and he had faith in God that he did not make him a dummy. God did not make me a failure. God did not make me a coward. God did not make me, you know, somebody under the table. I've lost some people there. He made me a conqueror. He made me a success. He made me a captain. Faith in God, faith in yourself, faith in people, faith in people. We cannot live alone. That person is going to help you. Therefore, have trust in them. Stretch for the hand. Have a good attitude towards them. Faith in God, faith in yourself, faith in others. Lord, increase our faith. That's a pillar. And the Lord is going to increase you in Jesus' name. 
Number two, increased love. Increased love. You know, if you are going to do anything at all, people look at your attitude. They look at your life. If there's no love, it's less hatred. You're always criticizing, always say, you know, they didn't do this well. And you don't love anybody. And you're saying, I will love them when they love me. Show the love first. When you look at the mirror, the mirror reflects somebody to you. And that's yourself. If you are frowning, the person in the mirror will frown back to you. If you are kind of uh, depressed, the person in the mirror will be depressed press as well cheer up and love people and touch the lives of people and once there's increased love that increase you are talking about that increase will come look at first Thessalonians chapter 3 first Thessalonians chapter 3 I'm reading from verse 12 it says and the Lord make you to increase abound and abound in love I thought I was here at amen and the Lord make you to increase and to abound in love one to another and toward all men, even as we do towards it. Number one, increase faith. Number two, increase love. Number three, increased righteousness. In Second Corinthians, in Second Corinthians chapter nine, I'm reading from verse ten. Second Corinthians chapter nine, verse ten. It says, Now he that ministers seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food and multiply your seed sown and increase and increase the fruits of your righteousness increase the fruit of your righteousness you know some people have an idea if i'm going to increase i have to cut corners if i'm going to increase i have to cheat if i'm going to increase i have to be dubious if i want to increase i have to be fraudulent not at all not at all the lord will not back up on righteousness you won't increase i said you won't increase thank god is coming I said, thank God it's coming. Now is the time to go back to Calvary and to say, Lord, help me. There must be an increase of faith, number one, an increase of love, number two, an increase of righteousness, number three, number four, an increase of strength, an increase of strength. If the load you want to carry is heavier than what you carried yesterday, then today you need an increased strength. If the journey you want to face, you want to run, if it's longer, farther than the one you ran yesterday, you have to have increased strength. If you're climbing a higher mountain today than you climbed yesterday, you have to have a greater strength. And that's the reason why we need increased strength i'm looking at isaiah chapter 40 isaiah chapter 40 you are going to be stronger today than yesterday you're going to run faster today than you ran yesterday in jesus name isaiah chapter 40 and i'm going to read from verse 28 has thou not known you will know as thou not heard, you will hear that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is he weary, neither there is no searching of his understanding. Look at this, look at this. He gives, he gives, I said, he gives, he giveth power to the faith and to them that have no might. What does he do? increases strength increases strength and tonight it will increase your strength yes. even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall but they that wait upon the lord are they there tonight yes. i said are they there tonight yes. they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary why because in verse 29 they have increased strength and when you have increased strength they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and they shall not faint number five increased knowledge increased knowledge a teacher has been teaching in uh, you know primary one or class one class two and is complaining as a principal keeping me in class one, class two. My friend, if you have increased knowledge, then they'll bring you to the next class. 
but if you don't have increased knowledge and you're still at where you were all these 10 years you have been teaching you're going to remain there but if you want increase increase promotion somebody there i said promotion somebody there i said progress you must have increased knowledge look at this colossians colossians chapter 1 i'm reading from verse 10 colossians chapter 1 verse 10 it says that she might walk worthy of the lord unto all pleasing being fruitful in every good work and tell me increasing in the knowledge of god increasing in the knowledge of god you must know today what you didn't know yesterday you know if you gave just a few minutes every day to learn something new to get a new promise and to get a new understanding and to get a new insight a few minutes every day little drops of water make a mighty ocean you have great knowledge and you'll have increased knowledge uh, look at there's something here i must show you proverbs chapter 19 proverbs chapter 19 your increase has come yes. say my increase has come in proverbs chapter 19 i'm reading from verse 2 look at this look at this also that the soul be without knowledge it is not good that the soul be without knowledge it is no good you're going through this life you don't even know the anything about the about the next neighbor and you're witnessing and you know you're preaching to other people you don't know their needs you don't know their desires you don't know anything you don't know what they're going through that the soul be without knowledge it is not good the farmer ought to know about the soil the farmer ought to know about the crop the farmer ought to know about the appropriate crop to plant in a particular place that's how we're going to get increase because we must have number one increased faith is coming number two increased love number three increased righteousness number four increased strength number five increased knowledge number six increased learning increased learning how do I have increased knowledge without increased learning? I must take interest in learning and knowing what I didn't know. Because it is through that those pillars, increased faith, increased love, increased righteousness, increased strength, increased knowledge, increased, uh, increased learning, that I will have the desirable increase. I'm coming to chapter 9 of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 9. It says, give instruction to a wise man, and it will yet be wiser. You are wise. I said you are wise from tonight you are going to be wiser and teach look at this look at this verse 9 and teach a just man and you will increase in learning increase in learning number seven increased labor increased labor now you are ready because that divine increase will come by addressing yourself to the duty of life addressing yourself to the challenges of life don't run from difficulty you know what if you run from difficulty by the time you come back tomorrow that difficulty has increased if you run from danger you run from challenges by the time you come next week that challenge has already increased and then you run again you say i'll come back by the time you come back that thing has increased and you keep running you keep running stay where you are you are going to succeed there <laughs> nobody will run you out of town because God has destined you for the divine increase and has to stay there and say this will be done it will be done yeah. who will do it I said who will do it yes God will do it but who is he going to use is going to use you look at this look at this we're looking at uh, first Corinthians chapter 3 first Corinthians chapter 3 I'm reading from verses 6 and 7 first Corinthians chapter 3 verses 6 and 7 I have planted and Apollos Apollos watered but God gave the increase we have to do something you have to do something laziness out of your life in Jesus name 
idleness just staying there and sitting there from morning till night my friend why are you here why are you there nobody gave me anything go and make it happen i said go and make it happen if they did it, if nobody employs you, go and pray to God and then use your brain and use your mind and become an employer and become a director and become a manager. Can it happen? You'll come back with testimony. And so we understand that that divine in 